Okay, here we are in section 1.2, exercises part A. Here are the solutions for numbers 1 through 8. Number 1, round 3,254.07 to the nearest 10. Now remember, we're going to look at, there's the hundredths place, the tenths place, so it's not that one, the ones place, the tens place. Oh, there's the tens place right there. The hundreds place, the thousands place. So we're going to round to this place. So this is the guy that we need to round to. This is less than a five. And so we're going to keep that right where it is and have 3,250 and 0 0.00. But obviously, that's going to be about the exact same thing. So 3,250, that's our answer. Let's double check with the answer down at the bottom of the page. And look right there. That is correct. Number two, round 2,892.56 to the nearest tenth. So again, let's look at them. This is the ones column, the tens column, the hundreds column, the thousands column. The tenths column is right there. So that's the tenths column. So we need to look at the six right behind it. It's larger than a five. So that will move this one up. So we are at 2,892 point, And that rounds up to a 6. And you could put a 0 there if you wanted, but 0. 0.6. And that's really what we've done is 2,892.56 is right between 0. 0.5 and 0. 0.6. But since this 6 is larger than a 5, it rounds it up. Let's double check our answer. Oh, there we are, 2,892.6. Number 3 round 39,454 to the nearest 10,000. So here we have the ones column, the tens column, the hundreds column, the thousands column, and the ten thousands column. So that guy right there is where we're rounding to. We look at the one right before. It's larger than a five, which will kick this guy up to a four. And let's make sure we get enough zeros there. Yeah, and we're looking to the nearest 10,000. So this number is between 30,000 and 40,000. And since it's a 39,000, it's closer to 40,000. And there's our answer. Let's check it. 40,000. There we go. Number four, round 189 to the nearest 10. So the nearest 10, this is somewhere between 180 and 190. We're rounding to this position, so we look at the 9. Well, 180 and 190, that 9 tells us that we are closer to 190. We round it up. Number 5. Oh, let's check our answer first. Yep, 190 it is. Number five, round 3,250.07. Oh, well, that's almost like number one up here. But this time to the nearest tenth. So remember, there's the ones column and the tens column. But we're not going to the tens. We're going to the tenths column and to the hundredths column. So it's this guy right here. Let's look at the seven. And what's our rule? If this guy is larger than five, that kicks that one up to a one. So 3,250.1. 3 so that's to the nearest tenth. It's right between 0 0.0 and 0 0.1. And that seven tells us we kick it up. Okay, number six, round 2,892.56 to the nearest hundred. Let's find the hundreds. Here's one, ten, hundred. So we're going right there. This guy is bigger than five, so it's going to round that guy up to a nine. So it is 2,900 is where we end up. And to, yeah, you can see we're between 2,800 and 2,900. And... That's good. We're closer to 900. Let's double check. There's our 3,250.1 and our 2,900 for numbers 5 and 6. OK, number 7. Round 3,900, to the nearest 10. And where is that 10? Here's the ones column. There's the tens column. So we're rounding to the nearest 10. So we look at the 4. Ooh, that's less than 5. So this guy stays exactly the same. We have 39,000. 450 as the answer. And you can tell it's right between 450 and 460, and the nearest one is 450 because this 4 is less than halfway. 
And the last one, number eight. Oh, let's double check our answer. 39,450. Excellent. And number eight. Round 189 to the nearest hundred. Well, there's the ones column, the tens column. There's the hundreds column right there. So we're trying to round that guy. The eight will cause is larger than five, so it'll cause that guy to go up to a two. And yeah, it's halfway, well, it's more than halfway between 100 and 200. So the nearest 100 is 200. So let's double check our answer, and we have it. Excellent.